Our top 10 fastest military fighter jets in 2024, with the SR-71 long retired and the X-15 having stopped flying during the 1960s, the quickest aircraft flying today are fighter jets. But which fighter aircraft is the fastest? Let's find out. But first, let's take a brief look at what is meant when we refer to the speed of an aircraft. We'll be talking a lot about Mach numbers, which represent multiples of the speed of sound. But the speed of sound isn't constant. It changes with air density and temperature. So a plane flying at Mach 2 at high altitude is going much faster than a plane flying at Mach 2 at sea level. The speeds reported in this list have usually been achieved during test flights involving special test aircraft in clean configurations, meaning they're carrying no weapons or external fuel tanks. These tests show what the aircraft is capable of. However, in their day-to-day -day operations, the jets tend to fly significantly slower. We'll try to mention typical operating speeds when we can, but remember these are all theoretical maximums. At the top, at now one of the fastest fighters there is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 Foxbat. Designed in the late 1960s, the MiG-25 was the most feared fighter jet of the Cold War. NATO called it Foxbat. It led to the development of the F-15 Eagle. The MiG-25 was a high-altitude interceptor. It was designed for speed, breaking numerous records. One MiG-25 still holds the altitude record for a jet-powered aircraft. Today, it's officially in the arsenal of only Syria. The MiG-25 remains the world's fastest fighter jet, at least on paper. In at number two, there is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-31 Foxhound. The MiG-31, codenamed Foxhound by NATO, was based on the legendary MiG-25. It has superior sensors, electronics and armament. It's a true modernization of the MiG-25's design. It can reach Mach 1.25 at sea level. The MiG-31 is primarily operated by Russia's aerospace forces. For number three, we have the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. This one is a bit of an American legend. The F-15 Eagle is probably one of the most well-known US-made aircraft. It's been in service for almost 50 years and it's still going strong. The F-15 is operated by the USAF, Israel, Japan, Qatar, South Korea, Saudi Arabia and Singapore. That's a lot of countries for a fighter jet this old to still be in service. The jet was developed as a response to, you guessed it, the MiG-25 interceptor. While the Eagle is slightly slower than the aircraft it was designed to rival, the American jet makes up for this by also having tremendous low-speed maneuverability. It's not just a straight-line missile like the MiG-25, it's also the only fighter jet to ever shoot down a space satellite. That happened in 1985 when a modified F-15 launched an anti-satellite missile at an aging US spy satellite. Oh, and it's the only fighter jet to have scored over 100 aerial victories without suffering a single air-to-air -air loss. The Eagle has never been shot down by another aircraft in combat. And get this, despite the base model being more than 50 years old, the F-15 is still in production as a vastly upgraded variant, the F-15EX. At number four, there is the Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker. The Su-27, codenamed Flanker by NATO, was one of the most prolific late Cold War jets. It gave rise to an entire family of aircraft, including the Su-30, the Su-34, the Su-35, the J-11 and the J-16, among others. It is one of the most widely operated aircraft in the world, and it's still in production today. A number of models derived from the Su-27 have often been described as having top speeds between Mach 2 and Mach 2.35, although the most recent variants are unlikely to be as fast. We'll get to why later in this list. Unlike some other fourth-generation jets, the Su-27 can't reach Mach 1.2 at sea level, and with external ordnance, its top speed is also significantly lower. But it wasn't intended to work as a dedicated interceptor. It was designed to be a multi-role fighter, and high speeds at high altitude are more of a byproduct of the powerful engines that allow it to carry a lot of weapons and accelerate quickly. Number five is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-23 Flogger. Another swing-wing fighter, the MiG-23 codenamed Flogger by NATO, was designed in the early 1960s 
and is still operated by North Korea, Syria, Ethiopia and several other countries. Built as an interceptor, the MiG-23 is far less maneuverable than newer fourth generation jets and has relatively poor low altitude performance. Nevertheless, it was an extremely sophisticated jet for the late 1960s and remains one of the most iconic Soviet aircraft of the Cold War. Number six is the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. You might recognize this one from a little movie called Top Gun. The F-14 Tomcat is the world's first fourth generation fighter jet designed primarily as a naval fighter for the US Navy. It was retired by the Navy in 2006 in favor of the F-A-18, but the F-14 is currently still operated by the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force. Some reports suggest a clean F-14 could reach an even higher speed of Mach 2.5, although this claim has not been confirmed. At number seven is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-29 Fulcrum. Designed in the Soviet Union as a lighter counterpart to the Sukhoi Su-27 and a response to the F-16, the MiG-29, codenamed Fulcrum by NATO, has been widely exported and is currently in the inventory of Russia, Ukraine, North Korea, Poland, India and many other countries. Despite often being described as a rival to the F-16, the MiG-29 mainly performed the role of point defense interceptor and as such had a relatively small range and high speed. The aircraft has some limitations though and it can't go supersonic while carrying a fuel tank. Nevertheless, a clean MiG-29 is said to be capable of reaching Mach 1.2 at sea level. Number eight. For number eight, we have the Israel Aircraft Industries Kafir. The Kafir, which means lion cub in Hebrew, is an Israeli upgrade to the French Dassault Mirage 5. This aircraft is currently operated by Colombia, Sri Lanka, and the private military corporation Textron. Its numerous upgrades include the General Electric J79J1E turbojet engine, which is considerably more powerful than the Mirage 5's original Snecma Atar 9C. There are some conflicting reports about the Kafir's top speed. Some sources say it's a more modest Mach 2, while others say it can go as fast as Mark 2.3. Furthermore, since the existing Kafir airframes are quite old, there is a chance that the aircraft can no longer achieve these speeds. However, much of the available information indicates that the Kafir's top speed is indeed Mach 2.3. It also suggests that the model has likely reached this speed in the past, which is why we've included the aircraft in this ranking. Now at number 9, we have it next to last, the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. Now we're getting to the really advanced stuff. The F-22 Raptor is the first fifth-generation fighter and the only stealth aircraft to be included on this list. Fewer than 200 Raptors have ever been made and the type has never been exported. The US Air Force remains its only operator. Many of the older jets on this list can barely break the sound barrier while flying low, but the F-22 is different. It can fly faster than Mark 1.2 at sea level and reach high speeds even with full armament. That's because its weapons are stored in internal weapons bays, which reduces drag. The Raptor also boasts the ability to supercruise, reaching more than Mach 1.8 without using afterburners. Supercruise is a signature tactic of fifth generation fighter jets. It allows them to fly at supersonic speeds for extended periods of time, which leads to greater fuel economy and longer ranges. Afterburners are very fuel hungry, so being able to go supersonic without them is a big advantage. And finally, we have number 10, the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. This one's a classic. The Phantom is one of the most famous Cold War jets, and it's been used by militaries all over the world. While it's been retired by most of its operators, the air forces of Turkey, Greece, South Korea and Iran still fly the aircraft. It's notable for its unaerodynamic shape. Seriously, this thing looks like a brick with wings. But the F-4 can reach incredibly high speeds thanks to the raw power of its General Electric J-79 engines, leading to a saying popular among Phantom pilots and fans alike, a brick can fly if you stick a big enough engine on it. So, what have we learned? Well, it turns out that speed is a complicated thing. It's not just about how fast a plane can go in a straight line. It's also about how well it can maneuver, how much fuel it burns and what kind of weapons it can carry. We've seen some incredibly fast jets on this list, from the legendary MiG-25 to the cutting edge F-22. And while some of these aircraft are nearing the end of their service life, 
they all have played a vital role in shaping the world of military aviation. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe for more military action and news. Roger out.